Even though hurricanes and flooding are a fact of life in South Florida, it doesn't dampen the lure of a tropical salt life for buying Florida property. In fact, investing in Florida real estate remains strong, whether you're a buyer looking for a Florida waterfront home or a new luxury Pompano Beach resort style condo, or perhaps searching for the best neighborhood in Florida to raise a family. Whatever the need, one thing is certain, Florida buyers need to answer this one top question. Do you know if your property is a safe investment for years to come? Keep watching. Hi everyone, I'm Patty Sagastuma and I'm a realtor here in South Florida. Before you consider buying a luxury condo here in Fort Lauderdale or the Pompano Beach area or a beautiful home for your family, there's a very important question you need answered, especially here in South Florida. Here we're prone to hurricanes and a lot of flooding, so you need to know what your future property's risk is for flooding now and in the future. So uh, why I'm bringing this up now, this up now is that recently Realtor.com announced they're going to put on their website a link showing the flood risk. Uh, they're attaching a flood risk report to each property. Now this is a great first step, but it doesn't go far enough. And that's where I can come in. I have been offering, if you follow my YouTube channel, you know that I have been offering these free reports, these profession, this professional analysis from a state-of-the-art company that provides in-depth analysis. So th these reports are being used by commercial developers. They're not gonna take a chance to spend so much money in an area that's risky. Now I mention this because you're not going to hear other realtors tell you about this. Either they don't know, it's a lot of work to know, they need to get the information, maybe they're just not aware, and also it's not in their interest. Some of the things that you'll find out in the report that I provide you that you won't get elsewhere unless you pay for it are things such as how sea level rise and the future sea level rise will impact the property you're considering buying. So if you're investing in Florida real estate or considering buying a Fort Lauderdale home or any property, especially in a low-lying area, you want to know if the streets close to your property are safe. The on-site reports only give you a rating of your home. Also, this report will show you the drainage hotspots. And this is proprietary information. This is a really good tool. And, and for sellers, this is especially good. So you can find out now and in the future where the spots are that rainfall is uh, accumulating. So if it's in your driveway, on a swale, on a berm near your home, anywhere you can do something about it. You can put a sump pump, you can put landscaping. Um, but there's a lot of ways that you can resolve this problem. And another thing I wanna emphasize is that I know when you're looking for a home to buy, you don't just look at one property, especially when you're spending half a million, million dollars or more. You wanna compare uh, different and have different options. Well, I will work with you. Each one is a separate report. The cost me money but like I said I want to make sure that you get a safe home and a home that you have all the information to make those decisions yourself so um, finally I want to say that I want to give you a real life uh, anecdote a real life uh, experience of someone and for that I defer to the president of the company and he's going to explain to you how uh, this gentleman was looking for a home in Palm Beach County and another Thing that you may be thinking already is like is are there any places safe in florida yes there are and you'll be surprised that even properties on the beach on the sand depending on, on their elevation are very very safe so really it's at looking at properties individually having access to this information and as i said i am providing that free to my buyers and sellers and let's let's hear from albert slap he's a president of this company about this special circumstance um, we did a report for a gentleman who has a, a home in Palm Beach, very expensive home, and he's 70 years old, and he wanted to know if he should sell that home or how many years he might have left in terms of flooding and sea level rise and climate change. And um, we did a report for him, and it really didn't come out very well. It, it has a lot of flood risks now, and that particular area of Palm Beach 
is very low, two and a half to three and a half feet above sea level. And <clears throat> he's more, he's closer to the intercoastal waterway than he is to the beach. So we talked about that and he said, well, is all of Palm Beach doomed? And you know, what does this really mean? And I said, no. And I was able to share with him without um, names, uh, a, a report we did um, a mile or so away from him on the beach block in Palm Beach. And his home, the highest elevation of this gentleman's home was three and a half feet. But this other home, which was of a similar price, you know, above a million dollars, let's just say, which is on the beach block, its base elevation was 12 and a half feet above sea level. So even in Palm Beach, you can have you can have properties and, and homes that are flooding now, are very risky now, and are gonna get more risky in the future. And you can also have homes of a similar price that just because of, in, in that case, the dune geometry and geology of the areas near the beach. And, and I know, Pat, you do a lot of work with, uh, with condominiums. We've done a lot of condominiums on the coast, all up and down Florida on both coasts. And many of the condominiums that they, they call in the sand, meaning they're on top of the dune, are safer than homes and condos and townhouses that are built away from the ocean toward the intercoastal waterway. The intercoastal, if you want to make some generalizations, Properties at the intercoastal are lower than in the sand condos and the in the sand condos can perform, not exclusively, I'm not going to make that generalization, can perform better. Some of those issues are A1A could be higher or lower at that point. So you have a nice car, you want to buy a condo on the beach and you think everything's great, you get a, a good report for that condo, but if you look out a little further, that particular area of A1A is quite floody because it's closer to the intercoastal and the waters are coming up, and now you wanna to go to the market uh, at high tide and you don't wanna take your Mercedes through salt water, so you're stuck in your condo until the tides recede. That's now. Next, if you're looking for a place with a backyard or a beach in a tropical urban setting or the suburbs, I have a video for you and I posted the link below. And gentle reminder, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post videos like this every week. So until next time, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.